Hello, welcome to Source Graphics. Today we're going to be discussing the V-Flash 3D modeling system, which enables you to make affordable models from the comfort of your office in mere hours. We're going to pull up Internet Explorer. We've logged into our um, web address. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put in your user ID and your password and then you're going to gain access. So this brings up the labeling of the job. So we're gonna put in here test, and that's the name of the builder. You can put in your email address here um, so that when the job is done, it can notify you. Now the next phase is what we're gonna do is we're gonna load a model. So we're gonna to go to browse. Our model happens to be in the file training STLs. So we're going to open the lock model it comes into this window here. It's suggested that you only bring one model into this window. Well, we're going to preview it. That brings up the window here. So this is the build chamber. If we wanted to add other models right now, we could by going File, Add, CAD File. And then we can add the Source Graphics logo. And we can open it like so. But now if we want to make multiples, we basically can copy piece as many times as we want. Very simple. Now, to build these better, we don't necessarily want them flat like this. One way to quickly do that is to go up here to, to rotate. We'll rotate it negative five degrees and that gives us a rotation. We want to choose the next one over. Just select our choice button. And we can go on like that, and, and we can rotate a lot of different ones quickly. This is going to give us better results. Remember that you want to keep the models in the middle of the build pad area for better results. Before we want to submit the job to the printer, we always want to save it. So you go File, Save Platform As. It's going to save it as a CTL file. So now that it's been saved, we can go ahead and submit it. We submit the job. It's generating supports as soon as you submit it. The little red dots are your support structures. As you can see, some of these models place three supports, whereas other of the models place two. So we can play around with this orientation and we can move the supports and get different orientations of supports, thus giving us different model quality. Obviously, this one right here with the, with the third support being right here, that's probably not what we want. We want probably something more like this because we can clean these off real easily and we can get a very good model off the system. So in order to submit these models, we choose the build queue. And it tells us right here that it's awaiting the user, which is us, to start the job. We start the job by hitting the button play here for it to actually engage the machine. The VFlash 3D modeler utilizes film transfer imaging technology. Basically what happens is we have an imaging unit at the bottom of the printer which projects towards the ceiling. And we have a clear acetate film that is brought across the image plane. But it's coated on one side, on the upside, with liquid plastic. Wherever the light hits that liquid plastic, that solidifies the liquid to a solid. That's how the modeler builds layer by layer. So now our V-Flash models are finished. And before we can take them out, we want to put on our nitrile glove to protect us. Because some of us may be allergic to the uncured material that is on the surface of the model. We also want to wear glasses to protect our eyes from a possible droplet getting in them. To remove the V-Flash build plate with the models on them, you want to hold the edge and pull the red tab towards you. That will release one side, and then you pull it out gently. And as you can see, the models are still wet. Here we are at the washing station. This is where we're going to wash our model. We've got some liquid material that's covering our models, and we need to rinse that off. We need to get that off. So in order to do that, we slide it down, like so, and we put it down into the solution. Then we're going to hit our button, and then we're going to time it for five minutes. Now you want to drain as much of the clean apart solution back into this chamber, so it's about like so. 
and then you're gonna take it over and you're gonna submerge it in the water side and let that go for five minutes. When you take the model out, you want to get as much liquid off of it as possible. You can turn off our washer. At this point, you wanna check the model to make sure that you don't have any material caught in the little nooks and crannies because that material will become solid and will become part of the model. If you need to use a toothbrush or something of that nature or a, or a Q-tip swab to get into some of the little nooks and crannies, you can do that. What I like to do is take the model off of the supports at this point. So you come in and you're gonna use the wire snippers and you're gonna snip the supports off of the model. We just set them down on the turnstile. set it from anywhere from 5 minutes to 60 minutes depending upon what you want the material and properties to be of your model. If you want it to be more flexible, go with 5 minutes. If you want it to be more rigid, go with 60 minutes. Then once you've dyed the part, you can lock in that material property. The V-Flash 3D modeling system enables you to make affordable 3D models from the comfort of your office in mere hours. For more information on 3D modeling, please contact Source Graphics. Thank you.